Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time since I filmed a day in the life. So we were having um, a more relaxing day today. I thought I'd pick up the camera to bring you along. Tomorrow is Riley's birthday. He's going to be three years old. So I thought it'd be fun to document what we are doing um, to prepare for his party. And then maybe I'll get to document a little bit tomorrow and just that sort of thing. Um, I also have some things to update you on, on what we're doing for in the summer for schooling and all that kind of thing uh, since it hasn't been since it's been a while since I have filmed anything so I thought I would start off the vlog with a little bit of a grocery haul and I'm going to explain what we're doing for food for his party tomorrow but first actually I am going to be putting some popcorn chicken in the toaster oven for us to start our lunch off with because we're all getting hungry and does anyone else do this where they start feeling really like tired and just starting to get into a bad mood and then you realize it's because you didn't eat enough that day or something like that? Like sometimes it happens to me if I didn't get a good night's sleep too. Um, so I'm trying to be better about that so that I don't get into a bad mood and I can't handle like regular stuff that I'm trying to do because I'm just hungry. So that's what we're doing today, popcorn chicken. Oh, and actually one more thing before I do the grocery haul. I wanted to show you this awesome um, summer reading road trip um, paper thing. I don't know what you want to call it that we're doing this year or this summer, I should say. Uh, all of these little highway signs are going to represent books. I think there are 84 of them if I counted correctly. And we are going to try to fill them all up. And I told the boys I got this from another YouTuber's idea. I'll link her video below, but if we read that many books by the end of the summer, we're going to go to Legoland. So this thing has been really fun. It's in reference to my hand. It's huge. I got it printed at Staples and it has different things on it as well, where it says like read a book set somewhere you could drive to, have a pajama reading party. And it's obviously like a big coloring paper too. So the boys are having fun coloring it. Once they're done coloring it, I'm gonna hang it up on the wall so it will remind us to read some more. So this is particularly helpful for us in the summer because we are out of practice of like our school routine and we're definitely not reading as much. I was thinking that the other day and then I printed this out or I picked this up from Staples and now I'm like, oh, this is, perfect timing so that we can continue reading because it obviously is something that I really want to keep doing throughout the summer and I don't want it to like fall off the priority list and I think this will be really good motivation to help with that. So this is what we got at the grocery store. This is a pretty typical weekly uh, shop for us. We typically buy meat and eggs and some pantry stuff at like a wholesale a grocery store once a month or so and so we already have a lot of stuff like that this is really just restocking um, milk and some pantry stuff and perishables mostly like fruits and vegetables so obviously we have milk that's a necessity with lots of kids we have Oreos because we are going to be making a Oreo Nutella cupcake for Riley's birthday I'm super excited hopefully I'll be able to show you how that goes. Mini chocolate chips because we put these in our pancakes every morning. A cavatelli, bacon, sausage, grape tomatoes, corn on the cob, avocados, onions, mini cucumbers, strawberries, butter, zucchini, and lots of peppers because we are doing um, sausage and peppers for Riley's birthday tomorrow. The Nutella for the cupcake frosting. I'm going to mix um, crushed up Oreos into the frosting. The cake for the cupcakes. Orzos. And basically this entire shopping bag is filled with bananas. I literally buy 24 bananas like every 10 days. And sometimes we even go shopping in between them because honestly everyone in our family loves bananas. We put them in smoothies, the baby uses it to like sweeten her yogurt and her cereal and all that. So yeah, that's our grocery uh, haul for this week. So here is what the boys' lunch looks like. They have grapes, um, cheese stick, and popcorn chicken. And then I'll probably give them a vitamin as well. This is just a quick, easy lunch. We don't do this every day, obviously, but you know, maybe once a week or something, we'll have something easy like this. So something else I wanted to give a little update on was how our 
like summer schoolwork was going and in the video that I did about what we were planning to do for summer, I mentioned that we were going to finish up some of our preschool curriculum that we didn't finish. We actually ended up ending school a week earlier than we intended to because we were just kind of like in the summer mode and Shane had just done so well already and it really wasn't necessary to like force us to sit down and do the work because we had just done so much already and it just didn't feel right because we were really busy with other things. So we did a little bit of that week and then I intended to also finish that during um, summer as well, like if we got around to it sort of. And I believe this is the third week of summer so far and we have yet to do really any schoolwork. Um, we've been really busy uh, with other things. We have our lake community has swim lessons and uh, sports leagues and stuff and Shane is doing t-ball and swim lessons and we did a garage sale and it's Riley's birthday this week so we've just kind of put school on the back burner for now and since this is our first year I really wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure if we would be craving that routine or if it would feel good to just like leave it behind temporarily I suppose. And because the weather is just so nice, like the boys just love being outside. They just want to go outside and play and they really don't want to sit. So I haven't made them and uh, I don't know how the rest of the summer is going to go. I don't know if I'm going to try to be a bit more diligent to sit down. I think I probably will as the summer goes on and make sure that Shane's like at least like reading a little bit and stuff like that. Um, practicing like him reading. And then like I showed you that reading chart, I do think that that's going to be really necessary to hold us accountable because I also have fallen out of the practice of like sitting and reading with them as much as I would like to, which is surprising, but surprising to me anyway. But yeah, so that's where we're at with homeschool stuff. I do want to show you some uh, workbooks though that I picked up at the Target dollar spot. If you've seen my other videos, you've seen that we picked up uh, some workbooks uh, in the top target dollar spot in the past and I think now is like the prime time to look because it's you know summer and then it's gonna be back to school probably even more so in like July and September so definitely check there if you want like little workbooks but let me get them and show them to you because they're like perfect and there were so many of them okay so the first thing I found was uh, not a workbook but this little uh, United States puzzle which is awesome um it was like, I think this one was $3. My mom actually saw it too and picked up the same puzzle for us because she knows we're homeschooling, obviously. Um, so check that out if you want to see if your Target has that one. And then I got five workbooks, two for Shane and three for Riley. Um, I picked up my edition workbook because Shaney is like obsessed with edition. Um, I think these will be... Um, particularly useful this year because I'm going to try to add Riley in a little bit this year with doing sunlight. So I think Shane's going to need a bit more independent work. So I could just tell him to work on, you know, one of these books. This one is Time and Money, which this one is a bit more advanced. It says kindergarten and first grade. So I was hoping there would be a bit more um, stuff that he could do in here because they're the telling time part is really not a whole lot of to the hour. It's only this one page and then the rest is, this one is digital versus analog and it's like down to the minute. So he's not gonna be able to do this for a little while, but that's okay. Um, he still hasn't learned money yet either. So this could be just good practice, even if we don't use it till next year. And then I got three for Riley. We have my colors and shapes workbook because he's still learning uh, shapes. He knows most of his colors. And then his letters workbook and numbers 1 to 20 workbook. So these were all a dollar. Uh, so And there were other ones too. There were ones for older kids and stuff. So if you are interested in cute little workbooks like that, definitely check Target Dollar Spot. So it is the next day now. So I thought I'd give you a little update on how party planning is going. We have... Um, sausage and peppers in the crock pot here. They're about like halfway done cooking. Um, so we're gonna bring that down and we're gonna order a couple uh, pizzas and a salad. And then I made the cupcakes last night and they are Nutella um, 
like cookie, Oreo cookie um, cupcakes. They're Nutella stuffed and then there's cookie crumbs in the icing and I put them on top of these ones. And then because it is a Ninja Turtle themed party, I got these um, in a pack on Amazon. So I also thought I'd show you what I got him. Um, so Riley is turning three, I got him. My mom has this at her house. Um, it is like a bed set for, he's still in his crib right now, but we'll probably take the side off soon. And it comes with this, like a little blanket, a pillowcase, and then the fitted sheet and then a flat sheet. And then we got him this Batman toy. And they're, like I said, it's Ninja Turtle themed. They love Ninja Turtles. So we got two of those. There's four of them. They did send me the wrong one. They were supposed to send me a different one because the boys have their favorites. So Tommy stopped at Target on his way home to get the right one because we can't have the birthday boy not having his favorite one. <laughs> and Miss Melly's over here, right? Melly, you're playing? You're in your little dress for Riley's party? Yeah. You a happy girl? Ah! Oh my. Okay, so it is a few days later. Um, like four days after Riley's birthday party and I have been literally trying to film the ending of this video since Friday um, and that's why I'm coming to you like this <laughs> um, not like pulled together or anything like that uh, it has been uh, an exhausting four days or so since the party we went away we had gone away to like George um, the weekend before his party and like I said we had a garage sale and then I had to plan for his party and I was supposed to go away for another like girls weekend that I ended up canceling because there was just so much going on um so I'm trying to just gain my footing again on everything and I think we're slowly crawling up back out um but I hope you enjoyed this video. I am hoping to film a vlog um, about twice a month every other week or so. Um, and so I will keep you updated on how our summer homeschooling is going and all of that. We'll see if we ever do get around to doing anything more formal. Uh, I'm thinking of starting school back up again. I think the third week of August so that's also super tentative. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you updated. I am also planning on posting some sunlight videos soon because I'm going to be ordering the tea program and I'm going to do like an unboxing and a uh, flip through and what we're doing with our three-year-old this year and all that good stuff. So Stay tuned for that and uh, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one.